Brothers and sisters, family and friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God, the witness and bless the joining together of Taylor and Andrew in Christian marriage. These two have weird and interesting love story. 3,441. This is how many days it has been since I have been the most blessed person in the world. When the silence is too much to bear When I seem to disappear When hope is in short supply Even breathing fear at some point in time, Taylor met Andrew during a mission work. In 2012, at Weekend of the Cross, a church fellowship um, missionary activity in the summer. She said, there's so, something I need to tell you. And I said, what's that? And she goes, I met a boy. When I met him, I, I did. I told my family. Um, I said, I'm going to marry this boy. That was when she first told her mom that weekend that I'm going to marry this boy one day. I remember like it was yesterday. I, I mean, I thought he was the cutest thing. Just I was absolutely smitten. And I, I came and I told my parents, I was like, I met, I met this guy. And Andrew's a family name. So I was like, and he's got such a good, like strong Christian name too. It's a family name. I know your, your great grandfather's name's Andrew. Your dad's middle name's Andrew. Your middle name's Andrew. So he's got a real good name. His name's Andrew. And I told them, I said, I'm going to marry this boy. And about a year later. The family were looking for a church. And while they visit, she leaned over and said to one of the family member, God wants us to go to this church. <laughs> and Nikki just with a puzzled look on her face said, what in the world are you talking about? She goes, Oh, there's that boy Andrew I met. So don't ever say God didn't bring these two together. All you ever did was love. All you did was give yourself to make a place for me. All you ever was was It's just crazy. I feel like most people are lucky enough to marry their best friend, but just to get to grow up and to grow old with yours, is, it's just something I'm so thankful for. It was honestly just an accumulation over time of how she's taken care of me, how I see her around other people, and just there's just a million little things that she's done that I was like, that's who I want to be with, that's who I want my kids to call their mom. Eyes are like so dreamy and flirtatious. Yeah, they are. Plus you already, did you just wait? All you ever did was love. All you did was give yourself to make a place for me. All you ever was was my heart. My heart. She's really the only person I've ever truly been with. Never imagined in the world that that would be the only boy to take my daughter on a date. I couldn't have asked for a better person to spend the rest of my life with. We have so many memories together over the years that I don't know if I can necessarily pinpoint one, but it was just kind of always there. I always knew, like, okay, I'm, I'm good, I'm taken care of. This is my person. All you do is give yourself to make a place for me. All you ever wanted was my heart. My heart, my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like the sun can see. To shine, love can diminish. And I know that there's nobody else that I'd rather be with or nobody that I'm supposed to be with. 
And so the story goes. She knows how to make me smile. She makes my life worthwhile. She's there for me when I am down. In her arms, I feel safe and sound. She loves it when I sing. Andrew, do you know how to sing? Uh, dear Dale, I know that I can be a crappy boyfriend. Sometimes, but I'm sorry for that. We have been together so long, I forgot what a blessing you are. I love you forever. Of these three, love is the most important thing. Dear college boyfriend, <laughs> in capital letters, I can't wait for college. I want you to know I completely trust you. I know you won't do anything to mess up the Montgomery Meadows. <laughs> I promise you can completely trust me, a hundred percent, with a little emoji of smile. <laughs> I love you so much. And I can go on and on and on. When Andrew started dating Taylor, he knew, and I knew right away that Taylor was the one for him. They've always been so consistent in their love for each other and for the people around them. Everyone was talking about in Tolliver how cute Andrew is. But not only were they talking about how cute Andrew was, they were talking about how gorgeous his girlfriend was. She's the most loyal, intentional, and selfless person that I know. And it, it's been a blessing growing up with Andrew as my best friend and developing a friendship or a best friendship with Taylor too along the way. And I know there isn't a better person out there for Taylor. But I mean that wholeheartedly. I've never had a doubt that you would always love and put Taylor first. He just has this infectious personality. He makes everyone around him feel so loved and feel so welcomed. And I've truly just never been a, around anyone so charismatic and just so genuine. Um, and he's still like that to this day. I, I couldn't be happier. I mean, there's, there's nowhere else I'd rather be right now, obviously. So. I'm just so excited. I'm just, I'm really ready to see him and to be Mrs. Montgomery. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Andrew, take you, Taylor, to be my wife. I, Andrew, take you, Taylor, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we're parted by death. Until we're parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. It's really nice to sit up here and say for such a phenomenal person that they're also going to be married to someone also phenomenal because Andrew, you are so kind and you are amazing. And both of y'all, it's it makes you believe in love, especially for someone that doesn't want to get married. <laughs> but it makes you want it. It makes you really want it because you see a love that's very special. And so cheers to y'all. You want to kiss the lady? Uh. Ready or not, here we go.
Thank you for giving us the privilege to walk alongside. May we continue to be faithful. Enjoy this walk together. Ups and down, we'll hold on to one another. Let this party begin. It is in your name, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.